Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets and thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome everybody to day number nine of Vlogmas and this video was actually supposed to be like my YouTube check-in video and I'm still going to film that. <laughs> that will probably be out either today or tomorrow but that's a little bit that video requires a little bit more prep compared to this one so I decided to change my mind because I am filming this very late it is December the 9th, Friday morning, <laughs> um, but I wanted to just do my weekly spending check-in for the previous week. So again, I've said this many times before, but I do weekly spending check-ins and I try to do them every week. Um, sometimes they end up being like two weekly spending check-ins, which is what happened last time. But truthfully, tracking my expenses has made like the biggest difference when it comes to my budget. So I check in for four variable expense categories, groceries, dining out, gas, and miscellaneous. I'm not a cash budgeter. I use my debit card for everything. So I really need to film these videos to try to keep myself on track for my spending. So week number one went from December the 2nd through December the 8th and I actually did like pretty well. So let's flip over to my transactions that I didn't put a paper on. Sorry, I'll just grab it to the side. So the first thing that I did was on the second. So this was, I haven't gotten more, more white out yet. So I'm sorry, but yeah, this was on the second. Um, this was in the Danning Out category. I did go get myself a Jamaican patty and that was $2.40 because I did just get myself one. Um, then on the fourth, um, I, in the miscellaneous category, I went to the Dollarama and I spent $1.59. This was on batteries. Um, I needed batteries for like my computer mouse for my work because again, I work from home most of the time. So, um, yeah. And the last time I went, they didn't have the batteries that were like, so basically like you can at the dollar store, you can buy like two types of batteries. Like there's a red package and a blue package and the red package is the ones that you're supposed to buy for like things that you use like on a regular basis basis like your keyboard or your mouse or stuff like that and they didn't have them the last time I went and then this time they also didn't have them so I had to get the ones that are probably going to die faster but I do have some backup batteries not very many but <laughs> that's also something I've always wanted to do to be, like be the person that I like has batteries at their house my mom always has batteries but I never remember to buy them so yeah anyways a dollar 59 on that Next on the fourth, in the groceries category, I did go to Farm Boy and I spent $9.95. This was on Oatly, oat milk, because I wanted to make myself a latte and I bought something else, but I don't remember what it was. So yeah, $9.95 on that. Then on the fifth, um, this was Monday, I did do my main grocery shop for the week. So in the groceries category, I did go to Fresh Co and I spent $35.53. Again, I don't typically buy a lot of food at Farm Boy because it is so much more expensive. It's kind of the Canada equivalent to Trader Joe's. So I just got like the few specialty items that I wanted and then the rest of my shopping I did, or most of the rest of my shopping I did do at Fresh Co. Then on the 6th, I went back to the grocery store. Um, I went to Metro this time and I spent $21.40. This was like, I can't remember what, it, like this was only a couple days ago and I honestly can't remember what it was that I wanted here. Yeah, no, I honestly have no idea what I bought, but I know I went to Metro for a purpose because again, Metro is more expensive than Freshco, so I don't do like my normal grocery shopping there, but when they have like sales on stuff, then that's when I will go. I also was kind of like near a Metro because I did have a chiropractor appointment you guys don't see those expenses though because I do have a very good like extended healthcare plan through my work. So the only time that like I would ever have to pay for it is if like it was like I went over my benefits for the year, but I I wouldn't I shouldn't have to do that this year. So yeah, twenty one dollars and forty cents at Metro. And then I think this is my last transaction. Yeah, it is. My last transaction for the week was on the seventh. This was in the dining out category. I did go to Domino's and I spent sixteen dollars and ninety three cents. One of my friends was coming over and I just got like a pizza and like the cinnamon bread which honestly the cinnamon bread is basically just like bread with cinnamon and sugar and like it's not bad it's just like I just wanted something for like dessert so yeah that was $16.93 for Domino's and that was it for the entire week so I did like really really well for week number one um I did buy Christmas presents um, in this week, which you guys will see when I do like my Christmas budget closeout video. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not mad at any of that. So let's figure out my totals. And I was, I didn't do the totals and my calculator is dying. So hopefully this is okay. If it does die, I have like a regular category, a regular calculator to the side. So hopefully that will be fine. But yeah, 
anyways, let's do groceries first. So groceries, I started with $9.95. Then I spent $35.53. And then I spent $21.40. So my total spent for groceries was $66.88, which was a bit over budget, but that's okay. I hopefully will be able to make that up for the rest of the month. Dining out, I had two transactions. So I had the Jamaican patty, which was $2.40. And then I had Domino's, which was $16.93. If you guys can tell, I'm like flipping through multiple pages. When I was setting this up, I somehow missed three pages here. And like, I don't have enough like room in my bullet journal to just like not use these. So I'm going to put stuff in these three pages, but I was just like kind of mad at myself that I did that. But I'm also really sad because I don't think they have have these bullet journals at the dollar store anymore so I'm gonna have to figure out something not necessarily in the new year but like relatively soon probably by like April I would say which is really sad because I've been using this bullet journal for like a year and a half now and I really like it and I also really do like it because it's like less than four dollars <laughs> so yeah anyways dining out my total ended up being $19.33 which is great very happy with that gas I didn't spend anything and miscellaneous I think I just had the one purchase just for a dollar and 59 cents which is amazing like look at how little I spent this week I'm so proud of myself so yeah anyways groceries in total 66.88 then I spent 19.33 in dining out and 159 in miscellaneous so I only spent $87.80 this week so that's amazing um, for my balances I believe I still gave myself the full $240 for groceries when I set up December. Yeah, so I still did the $240 for groceries. So 240 minus 66.88 means I still have $173.12 left in groceries. Dining out, I had given myself $160 this month. So 160 minus 19.33 leaves me with $140.67. Then for gas, I still have the full amount, which I think is just $80, which is fine. I shouldn't go over there. I don't know why I did it that way. 80. Again, I'm really sad. I, I should have gotten myself white out when I got this, um, when I ended up getting batteries, but I completely forgot. And then miscellaneous, I gave myself $200 and I only spent a doll. That's so good. $200 minus $1.59. So I still have $198.41 in miscellaneous. So if I take groceries, which is $173.12, I add in $140.67, then $80 for gas and $198.41 means that I still have $592.20 left for the rest of November. So again, divided by three weeks means I have about $200 a week for the rest of the month, which is awesome. And look, my calculator didn't even die. It was at 1%. <laughs> so that's great. So yeah, anyways, that is it for today. Thank you again, you guys, so much for tuning in. Again, my name is Amelia and this is Amelia Budgets. My next video will be up tomorrow. And I think that, again... I have to do that YouTube video, so that will probably be up tomorrow, but if not, I'll do my sinking fund video and I'll be like one of the two. Um, and speaking of YouTube, one of my favorite YouTubers just hit a thousand subscribers. I just like talked about her, I think on Monday, maybe, I don't remember, but I will link her down below. Again, if you haven't already checked her out, you absolutely should. Katie from Katie of the House, I'm very proud of her. Again, her channel, like she puts a lot of effort into her channel and it, like it's very, it's very clear with like the videos that she does. Like she does like cooking videos and she does like grocery hauls and like budgeting videos and cleaning. So it's like, it's not as simple as the stuff that I film. So it's just like, again, I know how much effort she goes into the, those videos. So like, I'm really, really proud of her. And I'm happy that she made it in December. Cause again, I wanted her to make a thousand subscribers before December. And then like for the entire month of December, she would be like monetized, but I'm still very proud of her because like she did like gain a lot of subscribers over the last couple of days. And it was just like really, really nice to see. So yeah. Anyways, that is it. I hope you all have an amazing day, everybody, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Goodbye.